Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris and you'll know from the start of the video and the actual picture that this is the giveaway video. I'm just going to start off with it today and just get it out of the way and then move on to my shave which I'm sort of looking forward to and sorting up but we'll, we'll get to that. Okay so, just so we are, in fact I'll do the drawings and then I'll show you what you've won. Now I'm assuming if you've entered the giveaway you'll know what the giveaway is and what's in it and what's actually part of it and what you get for third, second and third. So I've got, I don't even know what that is, S and S and R, Aces, uh, Sa oh, Sandra Ceres, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to pop in the link and go. So we have got 165 unique users. I can't really see that very well. Hopefully, you can see a bit better there. Okay, randomly pick winner. I'm just going to hit randomly pick winner three times. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is the chances of that? <laughs> I've just won my own giveaway for third place. Brilliant. Thanks very much. I'll just hit that button again. What is the chances of that? It's obviously picked up my comment to someone that's actually put something on there. Unfortunately, David, it's not you, mate. I know you're on there, but the actual comment's the red one, I believe. If it's not, if it doesn't, if it stays red again, then I'll, I'll, I'll go back to you. So, third place goes to Miguel, Miguel Torres. That's a great selection of giveaway items, thanks. So, what I need you to do, mate, all I need you to do is send me a, an email to anothercutabove at gmail.com pop your address on there and what you have won today mate is Sweetheart by Squadron Soaps and you'll get third choice pick of the brushes. Now I will contact you once first and second choice is out of the way. I'll send you a picture of what's left and you can pick your brush from there. So well done mate, congratulations. And next up we've got <coughs> Anthony Kidney. Great video and great prizes. You've won second prize mate, which is Wolfpack Morning Glory. Palmolive, Palmolive, Palmolive Classic Shave Stick and Styptic Pencil. I think that was right. I could be wrong. Styptic Pencil might have went with third place, but I'm not. I don't think it did. So I think that that's right. So those three items are yours. And all you have to do is send me an email, another cut above at gmail.com, pop your address on there, and you'll get second choice of the brushes after first place gets picked. And he's chosen his brush, or she's chosen her brush. And next up, the winner, first prize. First place to Sean Whistle. Fantastic giveaway, Chris. Fingers crossed and good luck to all. So well done, Sean. You've picked up first place or first prize or whatever you want to call it. They're all great giveaways. They're all great soaps. Haven't used this before. Solstice. Another little styptic pencil and another palm olive shave stick. And you will get first choice of the brushes. Now, I haven't got the brushes out because it's a bit of a pain in the ass for me to get them out of my cupboard. So if you go back and watch the video, you'll know what the brushes are. You can pick whatever brush you want, Sean, first up, and then we'll move on and just send me your emails and I'll get in contact with you. I'll give you 24 hours to 48 hours, rough, oh, to, I'll make it 48 hours, two days from now. So it's we'll give it till nine o'clock Western Australia standard time over here on f Thursday. So if I don't hear back from any of you guys by then, then I will be drawing another winner. I, I can't hang on and hang on and hang on. So th thanks very much guys for everyone that's that's come along, put the name in the hat to try and win. And thanks very much for making this possible because without you guys, I wouldn't have a channel which has allowed me to get all these products and actually put them out there for you guys to try and win. So onwards and upwards, only got a couple of hundred more to go to the thousand giveaway. I have got the thousand giveaway pretty much set. I just need to get the funds together, get it done, and then we'll have the thousand giveaway as well. But, back to the shave now, so I'm going for a hot water shave today, I've just had a shower, I don't know how well this is going to work because my hot water has, has went cold. Let's see if I can get this water warmed back up again. Come on. Right, so the soap I'm using today for my giveaway video is Mason Boutique Bobcat. The reason I picked this sample, I am on a bit of a sample run just now, is because I'm pretty sure 
that this is a sort of clone of Davidoff Cool Water and which is one of my favourite scents when I was a kid not so much now but it was when I was a kid I've sort of grown up a little bit now I've just squished some in the bowl I don't get cool waters from it I could be totally wrong it might be nothing to do with cool waters but it's a lovely cologne scent it's not strong probably around about a four four and a half in there anyway I'm going to use the Razor Rock 400 brush today great brush for bowl lathering I haven't used hot water for a shave for a long time so I thought I would just mix it up a little bit today and go for the hot water. I've never used a Mason's Boutique shave soap before and I'm, it's, it's made by, I believe it's, I'm pretty sure Jennifer Martin makes this, makes the soaps, Matt makes the brushes. They probably collaborate in the middle but I think that's how it works. But Mason's Boutique is also the, do you know something I should have used? I should really have used my brush guy brush just to keep it in the family for them. I've just seen this one in fancies it today, so. Yeah, that would have made a little bit more sense to keep it in the, in the Martin family line. Yeah, I don't get, I, say, I certainly don't get cool water from it. I don't have cool waters anymore in my den. Mainly, like I say, because I've sort of outgrown it. It's a very, young scent and I've become an old fart now, an old wrinkly old man at 33. <laughs> I've heard good things about the soap though. It gets great reviews. So let's just see how it works for me. I will be using the one blade today. I know I've only got one day's growth. I had a good shave yesterday with the Murpress. I just want to hit the, hit the one day growth with the one blade and see if I can actually get it to work and be comfortable just on a one day growth because everyone else seems to get it to work but it's all about technique I think with that razor definitely technique and a light touch and I'm just being too heavy handy with it so hopefully I can be a little bit lighter today and get a good shave from it right I'm going to go with it at that it's not a fact no I'm not I was going to go with that and then sort of face lather with it, but I'll just add a bit more water in because it's just a little bit dry. There we go, start to really whip up now. Yeah, there we go. So I'm just going to go with that. I'll load it onto my face and I'll do a bit of a, sort of a face lather as well. So this could screw me using hot water and the one blade, got no idea. Let's just see how we go. It's a lovely brush this, it really is. Well, consistency wise on the soap, that's pretty much where I wanna be. I don't even need to, I thought I was gonna to have to lather a little bit more. But I'm happy with that, that's lovely. Scent strength, like I say, it's run about, a, even now, still run about a four. But to me, it doesn't smell like cool water at all. It is a nice cologne scent, but it's not cool waters to me. Unless cool waters has changed over the last few years. Right, the one blade, gotta give it another go. It's the second use on the blade, as you can see, F dash dot, one dot means one use warm the blade up a bit and then I'm going to go for a really light touch and I'm just going to use it like I would normally use a DE razor and slowly whip my way into it and just see whether it can become something I can use. It's certainly a smooth razor. I keep watching, quite, I've watched quite a lot of videos lately. Are people saying using hot water opens your pores and use a cold water to close your pores? I'm not a 
smart bloke and I'm relatively street smart but in terms of actual medical and science and things like that I'm not but your pores as, as far as I know don't open and close they're always open they're not like a muscle they can't constrict or contract or anything like that they just they're always open hot water what that does is it, it draws more oil out and more things out through the pore, open pores cold water restricts the flow so the use of hot and cold water doesn't actually do anything with your pores at all all it does is just restrict what comes out of them or allows it to come out more I believe that's right I'm sure someone will, can, will, will tell me I'm wrong I'm being way, way lighter than I was. I've watched a few videos now. It's actually quite a nice razor to hold. I was quite surprised with it. I thought, I wasn't sure what this polo thing was all about. I thought it was just for the stand, but it's not. When you actually hold it, I tend to hold it in that gap and it's quite comfortable. It works really well. Well, that first pass was lovely. I've really pulled back on the pressure. I can feel the pivot working a little bit. It's not working anywhere near what I thought the pivot would be. But after watching the videos and sort of reading up about it and, and listening to the guys that actually made one blade and watching and reading about it, it's not there to be forced on your face and actually be used like a, like a cartridge razor. It's just there to assist the use of a single edge razor and that was very comfortable and very smooth it could be the fact that's the second use on the blade so it might have taken the edge off the blade as well it's really comfortable well you know what's happened there i've just done my usual left all my videos on from yesterday i tell you what do my freaking own editing so yes yeah, so i've just run out of data i've just deleted everything so i should be good to go slickness on this it's actually really good my face has dried in a little bit since but yeah, the slickness is excellent, residual wise anyway. So, let's get on with the next bit of ladder. So that, and now, I've had to take a freaking phone call from some person. It just pisses me, I hate people, I hate just like, um, those phone calls where people just phone you up and they're not trying to sell you something, but they want to try, oh, I want to send you this pack out, you'll, you'll save on insurance. Yeah, fucking brilliant, morons. Stick your insurance, uh, not save insurance, um, on tax. Stick your fucking tax savings up your ass. Shit, I don't want to end up like fucking Trump. Right, I <laughs> just got for the shave. Do my tits in. I'm trying to have a shave you. What happened to relaxation and chilling out? I should have done a coffee. Definitely should have done a coffee. Right, pass number two. It feels like I've been ever doing this video. Now I've got to say it's a very it's very mild. It's a very strange feeling as well. It doesn't feel anything like a DE. I know you're sitting there saying, well, it's a freaking SE, so how can it feel like a DE? 
for you guys out there if it's the first time, a DE is a double edged razor and an SE is a single edged razor. Sorry. Sometimes you get a bit carried away. But... Yeah, it's a, it's a single edge, how can it feel like a double edge? You, you know you're right. But. Having used the Hawk, which I didn't go on with at all. This might actually... I might do a four pass shave today. Sounds daft that my skin's screwed at the moment. Oh, I might not. What am I thinking? I'm thinking this is my third pass. See? I feel like I've been shaving all day. How's that feeling? It feels pretty damn good. And that was very smooth. No irritation so far. More than what I've got. I started off with irritation, so <laughs> I'm going to get some sort of irritation. The residual slickness is still there, I'll just show you. It's not it's not as good as most, it's alright, but it's there, there is some. I don't think I could head shave it comfortably. So that's something to bear to think about when you if you order this and you're a head shaver. I don't think personally there's enough residual slickness in it to get a BBS shave from a head. A comfortable one anyway, without worrying about getting nicks and cuts and bumps and stuff. Just to answer a few, a few people have actually said on a few of the videos that the irritation that I've been getting every now and then from the soaps could be the menthol. I don't think it's menthol because I've got all the sterling menthols, pretty much nearly all of them, and I don't react to any of those soaps, and they're all very strong menthol eat soaps. So I don't think it's menthol. If it was menthol, I would be dying <laughs> with burn every time I use one. So this is super light touch. I'm barely allowing the razor to touch my face. There's a bit of weight in this razor as well, so it does assist you a bit. I have spoken with Ken Lee. I tell you what, that was almost I'm BBS there. I never felt nothing. I normally feel a bit of like a, an irritation as soon as it starts cutting the hairs against the grain, that's that's BBS here. And there was nothing, I didn't even feel it cut the hairs off. So that's pretty impressive. And again, wow. I'm just, oh yeah, just very light touch, that was all I was needing. second guys. I am destined not to have a freaking good shave today, I tell you. My son's at home again, he's not very well. So he's sat on my bed right behind me, watching the next instalment of Pirates of the Caribbean, which probably, in all fairness, isn't the best movie for young kids to be watching. <laughs> The world's a bit different to what it was when I was a kid. Ooh. Felt like I got myself there, but I don't think I did. I 
Right, well, this video is super long anyway, so I'm just going to have a fourth pass because I'm really enjoying the one blade now. Am I pushing it too far? Probably. But that's what it's all about. And plus I can use up the rest of this lather, which has actually been quite nice. But I don't get cool water from it. But as you can see from what I had in my bowl, way more than enough. So, for a good shave. Or oh, so far, an excellent shave. Now, comes a question, just based on this one shave, this razor has went up in my estimations massively. Could I use it as an everyday shaver? E easily. If you're looking for an everyday driver, oh yeah. To go from one extreme to the other really with a razor. I was disappointed with it. The first two shades, I really was. Not the razor, really. I was probably more disappointed in myself because I knew after the second shape I was just pressing far too hard. Sometimes you've got to go back to basics. Okay, I'm gonna have a hot water splash. by a cold water splash. Yeah, superb. Wow. What a difference a day makes, or two days. But yeah, lovely. All this redness down here, I've generally got redness here all the time, even when I don't shave. But this part here is actually a rotation from the past four or five days of shaving. So after today, I'm quite hooked on shaving at the moment, but I'm going to try and give myself a couple of days break. I might even break it up with a head shave and then a face shave every second day, something like that. Someone's got to carry the mantle while Chris at Island is not here, you know. Someone's got to shave every day and make hundreds of hours worth of videos in a week. But yeah, post shave, lovely moisturised, feels great. Nice and smooth. I've got no weepers, no cuts, no creepers, no nothing. That's a lovely shave. It's funny when I look in the camera, it looks like I'm still covered in stubble, but I'm not that smooth. <laughs> There's nothing there. It just looks shit. Yeah. I think this razor could eventually be something I could go against the grain with because over here I'm BBS and I never felt a thing. So that's very impressive for me. Right, I'm going to move on to what we go with. I haven't used this for a while. Lemon. This one's a good astringent. Yeah, very little burn compared to what I got the first couple of shakes with this one blade. I'll really be able to tell when I hit it with alcohol with the, with the splash. Okay, so what was used today in our giveaway shave, the long shave in the history of face shaves. Mason's Boutique, or Mason Boutique ball cap. I believe it is a, a copy or a sort of conversion of cool water by Davidoff. I don't get it, I don't, does it smell anything like it? When I smell cool water, it really, just instant memories. 
instant memories of clubbing. Hitting the dance floor with my awesome shit moves. Actually, I didn't dance much when I was a kid. I just sat in the background and had a smoke. That was <laughs> what I wanted. I just went there for the women. I didn't get many of them either. Even though back then I had a good head of hair. <laughs> Although I did meet my wife in a in a nightclub in Lanzarote. No, no, Benidorm. In Benidorm. Lanzarote. Lanzarote was where we had where we had a honeymoon. Yeah, I met her in Benidorm in a nightclub. She was asking me what price the cigarettes were in the cigarette machine because she didn't know. And just as she asked me, the prices flashed up on the machine. So I get told her exactly what it was. And she put the, that amount of money in, and it, it was exact. And she and it all went on from there. And I think it was only about 13 or 14 months later we were married. Uh, right, brush. Razor Rock 400. Beautiful little brush. Love this knot. It, it, for you guys out there that want to transition from natural hair to synthetic, this is a great choice. It, it does have a sort of natural hair feel to it. It's got a natural hair look to it as well. It, it's really nice. It's a lovely, lovely knot. It's different to the game changer. Definitely different to the Game Changer. I believe that's a boss knot or a similar version of the boss knot as what I've got in my Brush Guy brush. The bowl was the. I'm just rinsing out some of the soap. There's still some excess soap in here from what I rubbed around the sides. This uh, Ponificio Barracino shaving grill. Love this bowl. I know I say it every single time I use it, but it is an excellent bowl. It's really worth the money, I think. It lasts forever and wood's a beautiful thing, I just, I really like wood. I might take a photograph of my bar one day and actually pop a photo of my bar up. My whole bar is it's about four metres long and it's all solid jar of wood, which is a really heavy, heavy, rock solid hardwood, beautiful wood, lovely grain. Right, the razor was a wood blade. Second use on the blade, which is the first time I've used a blade for a second use. Super smooth, I really enjoyed it. Changed my technique today, a lot lighter and I've really reaped the rewards of it. It feels great, really great. No irritation at all. Well, apart from the irritation I already had, but yeah, excellent, excellent razor. Great against the grain, I didn't feel anything over here, which is really surprising for me. Oh yes, it's really moisturized, just, just with the witch hazel. I can feel my skin's toned up as well. Right, where are we going from here? I'm going to go to the stray whisker after bar. Just a little bit of that, I haven't used this for a bit. I actually used it off camera yesterday just to try and get a bit of moisture back in my skin. This stuff's made by Con and Kim over at the Stray Whisker in Australia. It's made its rounds all around the world now. It sits in so many Shave of the Day pics and so many YouTube videos. It does actually say lighter than a cream, more dense than lotion, use a small amount and really I've just put that on, it's dried in, it's gone, there's nothing there and it feels great. A little bit of menthol, just enough to feel it but I'm going to get a good kick of menthol from this. This stuff is the bollocks, the dog's danglies, the mutt's nuts, love this stuff. Cheapest chips, it smells really nice, nice mild scent but the burn from the alcohol and then the good cooling sensation from the menthol followed up with the glycerin. Yeah, nowhere near the burn that I got those first two shaves. But you want to feel a burn, I, I, I quite like the burn. So that's the heat part of it. So I've got the burn, you can feel it, it's warm. The actual sting is gone now that you get from the alcohol. And now the menthol comes and it's just starting to come in slowly and within the next three or four minutes it'll build up while the glycerin's absorbing and then the glycerin absorbs into your skin and you're done. And you're done for the rest of the day. You can actually see the shine on there. It looks very oily but that'll be gone within sort of two to three minutes and you'll be left with skin that, that your wife will be jealous of every single day. So anyway guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Congratulations to you three blokes that have won the, the giveaways. Remember to send me an email. If you don't send me an email in the next 40 hours by 9 o'clock Western Australia Standard Time on Thursday, I will redraw another name on another video. 
and it will go to someone else. Please make sure you do put your name in because I don't really want to do the extra draw but yeah, I'm pretty sure you will but if you don't then please don't shoot me down for doing another name and pulling another name out of the hat when you find out five days down the line that you've won. So yeah, 48 hours guys, 9 o'clock on Thursday, Western Australia standard time so you need to check the time zones. 9am if you haven't sent me an email by then there will be another drawing on that day but other than that guys thank you very much for tuning in stay safe drive safe don't drink and drive i'll catch you guys next time cheers